Apple develops a new technique for installing watchOS and macOS beta updates. With iOS 16.4, Apple has implemented a new method that verifies if the user's Apple ID is a member of the Apple Developer Program or the Apple Beta Software Program before distributing beta software. With macOS Ventura 13.4 and watchOS 9.5, this system is now being extended to the Mac and Apple Watch. On macOS and watchOS, Apple is altering how users and developers install beta software. Both operating systems now request the Apple ID in order to display and download operating system beta updates, as mentioned by 9to5Mac. The system determines whether the account is linked to a developer or user registered in the public beta program, just like in iOS 16.4 and later. The beta update for that program is then displayed. Previously, anyone with the proper beta profile could install beta versions of iOS, macOS, and watchOS. However, because to this modification, Regular users won't be able to install developer betas, for instance. Users will only be able to install the public beta software if they are not registered for the program. Apple claims that going forward, beta software can only be installed using the new system. Here is what the business stated in February. Members of the Apple Developer Program will notice a new option to enable developer betas straight from software update and settings starting with iOS and iPodo 16.4 beta. When a device already enrolled in the program updates to the most recent beta release, the new option will be enabled immediately on that device. To view this option in settings, your iPhone or iPad must be logged in with the same Apple ID you use to sign up for the Apple Developer Program. This new setting will be the means to allow developer betas in next iOS and iPodos releases, and configuration profiles won't grant access any more dot details about betas. On Tuesday, Apple released beta versions of Watch OS 9.5, TV OS 16.5 and Mac OS 13.4 in addition to iOS 16.5 Beta 2. iOS 16.5 appears to be more focused on bug repairs than iOS 16.4, which featured a number of new features. Nevertheless, the update gives Siri new screen recording commands and gives the Apple News app a separate sports page. Any modifications in the most recent software updates? Tweet us or leave a comment below and let us know. Keep checking back to 9 to 5 Mac today and the rest of the week for complete hands-on coverage of the latest releases.